happy Monday. I hope you have gotten your day off to a wonderful start. Your week off to a wonderful start. And that everything is going well. Hey. Thanks for jumping on, everybody. So, if you've been paying attention, you will notice that I have been doing a lot with nutrition lately on my blog series. And the most recent one has been about leaky gut syndrome. So, if you're not familiar with leaky gut, it is essentially the school of thought where the foods that you eat cause problems in your gut, just to keep it short and simple, cause problems in your gut, in your intestines, which allow things to um, leave the walls of the intestines. So the intestinal membranes become more permeable, allowing toxins and other particles and such to leak into your system, which ends up causing inflammation, which ends up causing all kinds of problems like ADHD, headaches, um, bloating, um, autoimmune disorders, things like rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, any kind of inflammatory type diseases, which most of them, like heart disease and diabetes, they're all based on inflammation. Hey, y'all. Hey, thanks for coming on here. Hey, Brandy. Let's see who's on here. Hey, Julie. Hey, Ann. What's up, Maggie's in the house. So I hope y'all are having a wonderful start to the week, but I'm going to kind of continue that series, but instead of making this a part of the Leaky Gut series, I'm going to make it its own series that just kind of links back to the other one. So we're gonna talk later today on the, blog, on the blog when I end up posting it in the comments of this video about how these foods can help heal you. I'm going to go into probably a three or four part series where we're gonna discuss how to eliminate certain things, what to eliminate, which foods cause the most problems. Hey Stacy, hey Stephanie. All right, so we'll talk about those kind of foods, what things are the most common causes. I've already kind of discussed that. I'm gonna link those blogs to this one. And on the one that is gonna post later tonight is gonna to be more about the foods that you need to eat to heal, meaning the specific protocol. So I've mentioned some foods that you wanna add, I've mentioned some healthy foods, I've mentioned some foods you wanna eliminate, but specifically I'm gonna go into a complete protocol in this three or four part series where I will give you step by step instructions on what to do. So a lot of you have been messaging me about your experiences with gluten, with dairy, trying to eliminate some of those things out of your diets. Um, I've been talking to several people who have tried this particular protocol and having really good success with it, um, able to get off of lots of medications. Of course, this is not um, a quick fix thing and it's not easy to be able to give up the foods that you like and to just be limited. For example, I today, I'm super excited about it, Don and I just started a brand new workout program and we are excited about it. We're committed for the month of August. We're committed to the meal plan. We're following it to a T. However, there are things that I am not supposed to be eating based on my protocol. So it's a little bit more challenging for me to be able to tweak the meals. And for example, I'm not supposed to be having eggs right now. So for breakfast, I was supposed to have a bunch of eggs and I can't do that right now. So I have to tweak and make sure that I'm supplementing some other kind of protein. So what other kind of proteins would you have? Hey, Christina, that's our warrior girl right there. It's killing it. So um, what other proteins would you substitute for eggs, right? So I ended up just eating some turkey slices by the hardest. I'm not a real big meat eater. It's real hard for me to choke that down. I don't like chicken, otherwise I would have eaten a chicken breast for breakfast, but that didn't work out for me. So I just have to be really creative and imaginative, and sometimes that's what you have to do, and to get that 
end result where you're feeling a whole lot better and that you're sleeping better at night. I had a friend of mine who told me she did this protocol. She's always had to take certain medications to help her sleep at night and now um, she has never slept better in her entire life. So sometimes we don't realize that these little behaviors and little symptoms that we have are caused by the foods that we're putting into our system. The foods are the things that are masquerading as foods, you know, like processed stuff and a whole bunch of junk. So I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying that it is definitely doable. It's not a quick fix like you go to the doctor and you get a whole bunch of pills, but I'm going to elaborate on this a whole lot. I'm going to give you all kinds of information. The protocol is very similar to um, the paleo diet. So I'm sure the paleo diet is really popular. Most of you probably have heard of that kind of diet where you eat meats, but you eliminate grains and dairy and those kinds of things. So it's very, very similar to that, but there are some subtle differences, how you can take that a step further and go real extreme to get the, the results that you want. So um, I've been real pleased with it. I am, hey, Miss Greenland. Look at my teacher, y'all. <laughs> I've been real pleased with my progress so far as far as my joint pain um, is a lot better. I don't have all kinds of bloating and I just want to pass on the things that I am learning and the, the differences that I have seen in my life and in my nutrition to you. So I'm not saying this is something that you have to do forever, but it does, um, it does help to do it for, they, they recommend like six to eight weeks to a strict protocol. Yes, I can do a meal plan to help you, Nicole, with the inflammation diet and leaky gut based on someone's food preferences. And I posted earlier today, I have some things in the work, in the works for me to put together. The, the only thing is that I need time. So for example, the kids were real clingy today and I have to make, um, I have courses coming up that you'll be able to go on my website and you will be able to take a course and get handouts and get the meal plan and get all of these things on your own as a self-paced study. So I just, um, I need a little clone to be able to get those things done and have that all out there for y'all so that you can have easy access to whatever is um, suitable for you and your needs. So how was y'all Monday today? Everybody had a good Monday? <laughs> awesome. Yes, I'm super excited about it, Nicole. I think it's going to be really great it's something i have done live classes on nutrition in the past um and then i got away from it with just life being crazy and um i don't have time or you know the energy to really go around and do live classes where people sit in a classroom and i teach them about um nutrition kind of things so i think this is going to be the best way it's self-paced you are going to be able to go on there anytime you want you know and take the the courses get the information and put it to good use all right so what are some of the things i know a lot of you commented on my post a lot of you are interested in i have so many exciting things coming up um, I have some exciting things. Oh, yeah, Christina, help me type things up. All right, girl, I might take you up on that. I may take you up on that. That would be awesome. Um, I have some exciting things coming up as far as family nutrition and family fitness. So a lot of you, you know, you're trying to make the change for yourself, but you're having a really hard time getting that family on board. Maybe the kids, maybe the husband is digging his feet in like a mule. He doesn't want to do that. Or maybe you're the husband and the, the wife is like, I got to have my, my chocolate stuff. So, um, and that's okay to an extent. So it's all right to treat yourself, but I can, I have some things in the works that I think you're going to be excited about some free stuff some courses coming up, and um, I think you're going to enjoy this blog series. If you haven't seen the Leaky Gut one, you want to check that one out, and you can look at it all up on CoachAdrian.com. I also have, um, hit me up for, if you fill out that form about a free consultation, I can get with you specifically on your needs, or you can always send me a message here on Facebook. That's probably the fastest and easiest way to get me is here on Facebook, and I'm happy to help y'all any 
way that I can. If you have questions or um, I love hearing from y'all today. I heard from you, several of you today about sharing the stories and the things that you have going through, the journeys that you have made and the progress that you have made by implementing some of these changes yourself. So um, y'all are keeping me inspired and motivated to keep doing it. And I know that works in a circle, so hopefully I can give you some of that value in return. So as always, thank you all for jumping on here. I appreciate every one of you. My, um, We have been kind of remodeling, not remodeling, reorganizing things around here. So I moved my desk to another room and the, the lighting is weird and it's not set up right. So I'm just here on a regular chair in the in the Granui room, as we call it. So, there it is. All right, guys. Have a wonderful Monday. I'm going to go give my husband some attention since he just walked in the door. And we'll get dinner started. And I hope y'all have a wonderful week. And I will touch base with y'all on Friday. You want to come say hi? Come and say hi to the people. Hey. hey. Yes. I got mini Yes, you do have your Minnie Mouse stuff. All right, tell them, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Say, so we'll see you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday. <laughs> that's my tutu. That's my yes, very cute, baby. It has bows on it. It does have bows. I don't know why your little belly is peeking out. <laughs> all right, y'all, have a good one. I will see you later. Mama. Look. Mom loves me wearing all kinds of stuff she wears. I do love you wearing whatever you want to wear. I am going to post a link to the new blog in the comments of this video, and then I'll post it separately on the wall, as usual, so you can always check that out. Okay? I was up there for a minute. You must tell them bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Hilarious.